Welcome back. This is the second part. Now, when two parts make together a shaft made into the hole, then there are some kind of fitting. Now, we have called it three types of fit. Uh, they are named as clearance, interference, and transition. Now, what is clearance fit? Huh? So, let me just draw a shaft. And then, on the outside, we have the hole. You can see that in between the shaft and the hole, we have gap. So clearance means gap. That's clearance gap. So we have that called clearance fit, and let's understand what it's called interference fit. For interference fit, I still have to have a shaft. But this time, the hole is smaller. So, some people like to call this a force fit or a tight fit. Huh? But the right word should be called interference fit. And the region that is being over here, we are call it is rubbing, and we call it interference. Now, in between these two kind of feet, there's one type of feet called the transition feet. Huh? So the transition feet is in between clearance and interference. Now, what good is it to have a clearance feet? So the clearance fit, obviously, there's a gap, means it's good for mating. Joining parts together, it's very easy to join them together because you got a gap. And therefore, while it has, it is very easy going, it has clearance, so it has motion, has movement. So you see, there's a balance. Huh? While you can put them together easily, it can also move uh, within the gap. You can still move within the gap, but the shaft, the shaft can move like that. You can, the shaft can move up and down uh, within the gap. So it has movement. Now, what about interference? Uh? Interference feet, obviously now you realize that it has first no motion, uh, no movement. The shaft is bigger than the hole, so there is really no room to move, huh? and therefore it is also difficult to install. Now the question is now, uh, why do we need interference? Huh? Why don't we? glue it glue the part together and then instead of uh, having interference uh, so let me just put a little note here interference versus glue uh. versus glue why don't we just glue it uh? glue so let's draw the part of this guy the, the shaft to understand it let's Draw the shaft here. 
and then we have the hole oh sorry the hole i'm gonna shade it and in between here i'm gonna put the glue this curly curly part are the glue so this is the glue So this way, we can also make the shaft and the hole with no motion. What are the problem? Problem is one, it is not center. Why is it not center? It's because owing to gravity, when we install it, it will tend to go one side, you'll sit one side. Huh? And second is, over time, glue can fail. So therefore, there's a need for interference fit. Now, interference fit then, if it's no movement in this way, it is so tight, how are you going to install it? How to install? And you realize that engineers are very smart through the days. Huh? So basically, what they do is they have a shaft. A shaft is how we draw it with a center line. And then let me show you that, that let's say there's a hole below. So to install it, there are two methods. Two same concept but two methods. The method is this. Uh, we can either as heat up. or expand, expand the hole because the hole is smaller than the shaft so when it expand, when heat it up, it expand and then when you put them together, you will contract and freeze and, and hold the shaft well uh. at room temperature, you, you hold back together the other way is we can freeze we can freeze the shaft using nitrogen, uh, using liquid nitrogen, we freeze freeze it and then the shaft will contract. Then we will put the shaft into the hole. And then at room temperature, very important, at room temperature. 30 degrees C. Where, where the, the heat up will actually contract. Whereas the one that you 